What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Foot Fantasy Martinelli card to review. It's a card that's got 97 pace, 97, with 90 dribbling as well, 88 shooting, 85 passing, and 85 physicals. He looks unreal, but EA just didn't stop there, let's say. They didn't just upgrade this guy's stats, they also gave him a skill move upgrade, while also giving him a weak foot upgrade as well. Martinelli used to be 3 star, 3 star. And now he is four star, four star. And that's a big W for me, eh? Because we all know, we all know if this card was three star, three star, mm, so many people would push it to a side. No, no, they wouldn't even barely, they wouldn't even bother to look at a card. As soon as they see that three star, three star, they're like, yep, push to a side, no chance. And I can tell you right now, if it was three star, three star, there's no chance this card is going for roughly around 900k. He probably would be like a 200k card, maybe even under. People don't like three star, three star, especially this late in the FIFA. It just would be annoying to work with. So yeah, the fact that they gave him a four star, four star is a huge W. Now the chem style, Marksman. I feel like it's so good for this card because it picks out like certain stats that you want upgraded. Like you see the reactions being at 85, boom, the Marksman chem style gives it a plus five. The strength being at 77, meh. But the Marksman chem style gives it a plus 10, being 87 is really, really good to work with, especially from a player that already has that high aggression. 95 aggression is going to be insane on this card. And the shooting stats as well, like the finishing being at 94 is perfectly fine, but we ain't complaining if it can go up to 99. But then at the same time, like the shot power being at 87 is a little bit low, let's say. So getting it boosted up to 92, perfect. And the long shots going from 77 to 87 is going to be a really, really big deal. So yeah, Marksman chem style, I feel like it's 100% is the the way to go the pace being how it is 98 acceleration and 96 sprint speed is straight up amazing now the shooting traits on this card finesse shot and outside foot now that's going to be very very good to work with finesse shot and outside foot with those kind of shooting stats it's looking good. It's looking really, really good. Now, the passing ability, even though the long passing is not looking great, the short passing and the crossing is going to be very nice to work with. The dribbling ability, I mean, those dribbling stats with the lean body type, with while being 5 foot 10, with four star skill moves as well. Yeah, I'm expecting him to feel insanely good on the ball. And the physicals, 96 stamina. You know he's 100% going to be lasting for the whole 90 minutes. He's got 87 strength now with 95 aggression. The heading accuracy, by the way, for a 5 foot 10 player, is actually really good. 88 heading accuracy, that's beautiful. It's just 80 jumping. Hmm. He's not going to be a player that's going to be out headering people you know he's not going to be a person that's going to jump over Varane he's not going to be a person that's going to jump over Rudiger right but if he's wide open that 88 heading accuracy is going to be very nice to work with now if we're talking about links Brazilian nationality I think that says it all right you got Neymar you got Fred you got so many so many good Brazilian players this year that you link him that you can link him up with but he also gets a strong link on that left side with Tierney so the club isn't bad either so links on this card outstanding now positions I am going to be playing Martinelli in two positions. I'll be playing him in that striker position, and I also will be playing him in that like that winger position. Let's say I don't want to play this card. This card can because the long passing at being you know 63. Let's say it's not going to be nice to work with. So yeah, striker position and down the line. So yeah, let's get into the games and let's see how good this card is going to be. Nice scoop turn into Martinelli there because he's there through the gap. Good dribbling, fake shot that. Lacroqueta? No, I tried to Lacroqueta towards the inside. Look how aggressive this guy is playing, though. The left stick dribbling there, though, with Martinelli, didn't seem too bad. He kept that ball very close to his feet. Scoop turn it back. Give it into Gabriel because he's made a good run there. Good fake. We'll play to get away from him. I kind of want to pass, but it doesn't matter. We spin a... I think it's Donnarumma. Yeah, it is Donnarumma. Inside out, and we just get a nice little angle to go for the finish there. Martinelli going to give me an option here? He kind of does. He actually stays quite short there. I'm surprised... He didn't like run in behind them. We do so well to rule it through the two players and the finish. I feel like it was good though. No, it was going into the corner. Can Martinelli really do anything more there? I feel like that's just a straight up a good save. Looking for a 1-2 by N'Golo Kante. Decides he wants to make a run. I was looking the 1-2 of him. But we ain't actually, we ain't got it. And N'Golo Kante still has not got back into position. And I don't know why, but I tried to chip. Do you see the dribbling though? Yeah, that dribbling... Very nice. Can't take him short there. There you go. Turn. Play the extra pass into Martinelli. I like how... Oh my god, that went in. I like how he responded really quickly to give me that passing option. Like, he was about to make a run up, but then he realized that he needed to give me that passing option and came short really, really quickly. I don't know what that finish was, but we'll take it. I'm going to play that. Please. Flick it over. 
Oh, that's a beauty of a touch. Oh, that is literally perfect. Sometimes when I do that uh, flick, it smacks him right in the face and it just screws up the whole thing, let's say. But that pass, that pass, that touch was perfect and it just allowed us to uh, hit it first time after. That's a good driven pass. That is a very good driven pass and that's a good run from Neymar as well. Just keep it going. We'll roll that. Martinelli goes into the inside. Good roulette. Smack it. Is that a cross goal? I can, it's kind of a cross goal, but you could also argue it's towards the near post. Either way, right into the corner. Keeper, no chance. Keep it going. Neymar, play that early into the inside. Look at the pace, man. Look at the pace. Keep it going. Against Kempembe as well. Short hands on the keeper. Short cross goal. Oh, my God. It was like a little gap that I had to hit it through, and it actually went through there, and we scored. Pass up again. First time that. Is he onside? I don't think he is. It was a very, very good finish with a four-star weak foot. But yeah, it wasn't off. He wasn't onside. There's a massive space there, and he's seen it as well. Good touch, really good touch. You see how how far he went away from Varan there? But Varan has actually caught up here. Go for a few turns. The dribbling is incredible. Keep it going. Oh, we're gonna go for this. Go on. Oh my god, it actually hits crossbar. Have we still got a ball? We have. I don't think we're going to create anything, right? Yeah, Kante's just going to tackle us. The dribbling there, insane. It's just, it's kind of disappointing that it didn't end in a goal. Get that sure, well played. Give that over to Martinelli now. Ball roll that, nice. I see Gels and Martin's making a run, and I am going to go for this over top through ball. It wasn't like a, a crazy pass, let's say, but those kind of passes, I'm expecting him to kind of make. It, it's not that challenging. It's quite open as well. Look at the dribbling once again. Hit him with the roulette and it does the wrong skill move. Like the dribbling on this card is so nice to work with in those like tight situations. Have we got a free kick? Oh, we have got a free kick. Let's see what we can do. Martinelli. Oh, 62 free kick accuracy. Obviously isn't great. <laughs> um, do we even go for this shot? Who is that on the line? I'm not sure who that is on the line, but he doesn't look tall. Let's go for it. Why not? Green timed. It looked more promising from the other camera angle. Go forward with Kante here. He thought we was going to cut back there. Martinelli giving me, giving me a really good passing option. Green timed. And it ends up here in the post. I don't know if the keeper got a touch to that. I feel like he may have got like a little, a little finger, a finger touch, let's say. But other than that, it was still a very good shot at like a very tight angle. We'll all scoop that. Inside early to Martinelli. Good acceleration. Shot cancel the keeper. No, it's why did it screw up the shot cancel? It's a simple shot cancel. I can do that. Get around the player there, and we might even have ourselves a goal. He's got a finesse shot trait, so I do want to try this out. I want to see if I can actually score this. Give it back down to him. We got a bit of space there. Green timed as well, and it flies in. You can clearly tell the 87 long shots with 92 shot power. Yeah, it's working. Go on, Martinelli. Accelerate through the space there. Look at his strength. You notice how he didn't, like, completely get bullied off the ball? That's something that I do, I definitely do enjoy there. The fact that he's not getting completely pushed to a side. He's still fighting for it. And he did still manage to get, like, a little touch to it, I believe. Neymar. Back to Shaw. Into Martinelli. Let's see if we can just accelerate. Get past maybe Varane. No one gets past Varane. No, no one. Just straight up no one. It doesn't matter how much acceleration you have. It doesn't matter how much sprint speed you have. Yeah. You're just not going to get past a run. <laughs> Drilling that down. Martinelli, he's made a run up there. I am noticing like the movement in the striker position from Martinelli, it's good, but it's nothing insane. There's certain situations like that that I would love him to move down, but he actually moves up there, which is a little bit weird, let's say. But we've done well there, and that is a very good finish. First time that maybe, I'm actually kind of surprised he got it, but look at the pace. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ball roll. Double ball roll, maybe get around the corner or triple, doesn't really matter. And that's a perfect pass over to Mbappe. That turn from Martinelli was incredible. The way he turned and just accelerated into the space was beautiful. It's a good turn. Back into the middle. Fake shot that. Perfect. On that four-star weak foot and it goes, it goes right into the corner. I'm noticing that four-star weak foot looks very, very good. There hasn't been a situation with that four-star weak foot yet that it looked a little bit off, let's say. Like the power, the accuracy seems perfect on it. So it is time to review and we ended up playing four games with Martinelli. We scored eight goals and we also came out with a single assist as well. The first thing I want to talk about is the dribbling ability. The dribbling ability on this card is insane. The left stick dribbling is beautiful to work with in this game. And the, I feel like the only thing that was missing with the dribbling 
was the fine star skill moves. That's literally it. If this card could pull off like McGee spin cancels, reverse elasticos, normal elasticos, all these really good fine star skill moves, <laughs> it would be insane. It would be really, really insane. But yeah, dribbling on this card, really nice. You won't be disappointed. Trust me on that. Passing ability. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. There was occasions that I did go for a long pass. Uh, one occasion where it was actually pretty good. Another occasion where it just didn't end up working. So yeah, passing ability. Try to keep it as simple as possible. But if the player's wide open on the other side, give it a go. Why not? The shooting ability. I was actually really impressed with the weaker foot shot. Like the stronger foot shots, I knew was going to be good. You can tell looking at the stats, right? It's just the four star weak foot. Sometimes in this game, a four star weak foot can be a little bit dodgy. So I thought maybe that's going to happen today. That was not the case. The four star weak foot looked insane. It felt like a five star weak foot in some occasions. The power, the accuracy behind it was amazing. So yeah, shooting really, really solid on this card. Pace. Hmm. That acceleration to get him behind, it wasn't enough to outpace Varane still. You can, I can definitely tell you that. But the pace with that quick turn that he had into the acceleration, oh, beautiful. Straight up beautiful. So yeah, pace really good as well, as expected. And if we look at the physicals, the physicals were good. Really, really good. There was a lot of occasions I felt like I was getting put under pressure. And I would just like kind of hold them off for a bit. It would allow me to take my time, pull off like a quick skill move and create a quick angle so I could go for a shot. So yeah, the strength on this card, it was not a joke. And I could definitely tell the 95 aggression was coming into play in a lot of occasions. He's a fighter, let's say. He's a person that's always going to be fighting for the badge, no matter what kind of not no matter what kind of situation, let's say, he's actually in. So yeah, you could definitely tell he has got that 95 aggression in game. Now the price. 880k. It's a lot. It is a lot. Especially when a player like uh, Jack Grealish is going for 120k. Yeah, it's not worth it. It is 100% not worth it. Where do, you, where do I think this card will settle at? 97 pace. A lot of people are going to be seeing that. Probably like... You have to keep in mind, this card can obviously go ahead and get upgraded, right? So I feel like maybe 300k. Maybe like 400k. Maybe 400k will be like a comfortable price for this card because you also have to keep in mind he's Brazilian. He gets that link to like players like Neymar, let's say. So yeah, 400k for this card wouldn't be bad at all. But 900k, I definitely do feel like he's uh, pushing it. Now, where would he go in the attacker's tier list? He goes into the A+. Plus. He is in an S tier card. If he had something like five-star skill moves to his game, I would be honest, I'll be honest, I'll put him into the S tier. Especially with what he gives you like physical-wise as well, with the strength, the aggression. Yeah, I would put him into the S tier. But because he hasn't got the five-star skill moves, I feel like he is a comfortable, comfortable A plus, uh, a plus tier card. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.